Hey guys, what's up? Murder of Birdtail. Welcome back to the channel and welcome to a long awaited video. I never thought I'd see the day when we'd be sitting down to watch the latest Ruby fan made trailer by the man, the myth, the legend himself, Mark Zhang. So I know I'm late on this. I feel like at this point it's probably getting annoying for you guys to hear it repetitively based on what I'm uploading during this week. But for the uninitiated, um, this trailer. Uh, Mark Zhang's Ruby fan made regalia trailer released, I believe, last month um, during a time where I was painstakingly staying away from it on social media because I was in the process of moving and I was just not able to sit down and watch it during the time when everybody and their mother was talking about it on YouTube, making reaction videos, talking about it on Twitter. And I was just like, God damn it, I have to move. So um, I am moved, I am unpacked, I'm settled into my new place. Uh, E3 is behind us. I'm getting back to recording a variety of videos, both for now and the distant future. Uh, RTX is uh, next month. And so I've been waiting for this video. I thought we'd get it like long before now. It's been such a long time since the last trailer released. And um, this has been like five years in the making for him. And, you know, for people who are in the Ruby community um, who have been around for a, for a while, uh, this is almost kind of like a, a, a like a community event that everyone kind of comes around and, and kind of sees what what Mark has delivered and improved on in previous years. So um, I believe the first Mark Zhang trailer I watched on my channel was the charcoal trailer. Um, I think at the time when I started watching those Ruby volume three had just ended. Uh, it was around the time that I was also starting red versus blue. And I believe when I sat down to watch it, I watched the charcoal trailer on its own. And then um, I doubled down and watched the silver trailer and the Viridian trailer, respectively, when those first came out. And uh, at least for right now, I think there is a uh, uh, I think there is a plot line of some sort. Um, charcoal being the, the the antagonist and then Team Silver being the coordinated team of silver. Viridian, Linen, and now Regalia. Linen was the one that serves the like that that I remember the most in my mind because first off, it's the most recent one that came out. It came out almost three years ago, and I remember it so because it came out the night that No Man's Sky dropped, and I was doing a midnight release live stream of No Man's Sky, and then I remember just my chat blowing up like Linen trailer out, do a reaction, go watch it, and I watched it the next morning, so. That came out almost three years ago. I believe August of 20, 2017, I think it was. I don't remember when No Man's Sky came out. But yeah, it has been quite a while. Uh, I recently just watched all of the trailers leading up to this one that I'm about to sit down to watch now. And it's it, it's it's crazy to go back and watch the first charcoal trailer and see how stiff and jagged and rugged it is. Um, but it's but it's made with love. It's made with passion and you know, he slowly got better with 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 silver and viridian and linen, which was one of my favorites, especially how the semblance worked with the fighting and the choreography is improved. The animations improved. It's a lot more fluid. Uh, the music is top notch. Uh, Brandon Yates actually helps out helped out a lot, I think, with the uh, linen trailer in particular. I think he gave he lended his voice to the character and I think he provides the music, too. Um, but yeah, I, I had no idea that we'd see something from mark at, at any given point because it's just like we don't know what he's really been up to also is it mark zhang or mark zong because i always get super self-conscious about pronouncing or even just saying his name uh especially if i don't know if i'm pronouncing it right because i've never heard like him himself say it or anyone that he personally knows say it so let me know anything on that but anyways the regalia trailer is out it is the last character i know absolutely nothing about it other than that it's eight minutes long it's his it's his return to form after almost three years. So I'm expecting, obviously, uh, you know, the same great animation, choreography, a lot more fluidity uh, to pre. I, I just see it as a step up from the linen trailer, um, but I'm excited and I, I, you know, I get so hyped and excited for seeing these. They, they remind me a lot of the original trailers as they rightfully have drawn inspiration, especially from Monty. And uh, I'm excited. So, uh, Mark, I'm, I'm excited to see what you've cooked up for the community and for your own personal workings. And uh, without further ado, let us begin. Wow, so this is really interesting. So the fan-made Silver Regalia trailer in one month of being uploaded already has more views than the Linen trailer, which has been uploaded for nearly three years, which is really crazy of that initial level of support. 
I, I don't know if it has the potential to be his most viewed overall. I don't know what's beyond the Silver trailer as well, because like I said, I think this plot line, I don't know if anything goes beyond Team Silver most likely fighting off against uh, Charcoal or more of those kind of henchmen that he has. Um, also, the Viridian trailer is his most viewed, 1.2 million. But like I said earlier, I, I just sat down and watched all of these trailers before prepping to record this reaction. And it's so great to see the progression the evolution, the improvements of his animation and choreography and, you know, just the overall themes that he's going for with all of these trailers, the creativity of each character, their semblance, their weapons. And I, I, I just have really high hopes for this one because it's all four of them, I believe. They're all fully revealed. I don't know if they're if they've been modeled or updated. I don't know if he's still using the same software and engine that, and you know, and basically if he's using the same tech as before. But eight minutes, I am so excited. So without further ado, we are going to be checking out the fan-made Silver Regalia trailer right now. Okay, hold on. I just need to make sure. First off, go. First off, you're getting my like before I even watch the video because I already know it's going to be good. And I just need to put my audio accordingly so I'm not blowing out anyone's ears when I start watching this. So anyways... Thank you guys so much for watching. As always, leave your thoughts in the comments. Leave your own opinions and take of what you thought of this trailer compared to me. And we're going to be starting in 3, 2, 1, now. Even those who live their purpose encounter emptiness, but alone there is no escape from your own void. Truer words were never spoken, my friend. <laughs> All right, here we go. Oh my God. I can't believe we're watching this. Mark Zhang presents. Already the landscape looks a lot more crisp. Comparing this to like the charcoal trailer. Oh, there. Is it a girl? Regalia? I think it's a girl. Ooh, I like the music. Ooh, the wizard cap. <laughs> Grab it. <gasps> well, what? I Voice? I don't know. How many ominous looking fortresses have you found? Are you kidding me? Run our way. Just keep watching till we get there. Holy! <gasps> Are you serious? They are fighting charcoal! <laughs> Dude, you're like one step away from having your own show. Are you serious? Oh, what's your weapon? Ooh, oh, a grenade what? Is that a grenade launcher? Hello? <laughs> I don't know if that's a... Is, I don't know what kind of weapon that is. That looks like a grenade launcher or a minigun. Whoa! It's an axe! <laughs> Dude, I'm so freaking over the freaking voice acting. Holy sh yo, the squad's here. Yo, is this this is Charcoal's army, no? Oh, we got an enemy. <laughs> Dude, this is so hype. And the other voices too. Is that like everyone on the team has a voice now? This area is under Pentor jurisdiction. Everyone! You can surrender now or surrender after a defeat. Hold on, hold on. Who's who's? I need to hear what she said. I'm like freaking out too much. I need to pay attention. Oh my god. Dude, you've upgraded. This area is under Pandora jurisdiction. Pandora? You can surrender now or surrender after I defeat you. <laughs> hmm. I'll consider it if you hand over the radiant. Oh the radiant! I hate to rain on your parade, but this is the end of the line for you. Holy shit! She's got a cool weapon too! Dude, she's so cool. What's her semblance? Oh my god. Yo, battle axes are stuck. <laughs> this is so hard. Oh my god, it's so much more fluid than anything he's worked on. Dude, the choreography is so good. Yo, it has been whoa, ice. Oh. oh my god. Yo, dude. Oh my god. This is so hard. <laughs> oh, yo, Mark, you they need to pick your ass up for Ruby. I swear to fucking god, they need to pick you up and have you work on Ruby. It'd be like a match made in heaven. Oh, is this her semblance? What the hell? What the hell? 
<laughs> Hello? Uh, is that your persona? <laughs> what the heck? I gotta read the description after this in case he mentions it. What the hell is this? Is it fighting for her? Is it like, is she controlling it? No, they're both separate. Dude, this is so good, Mark. <laughs> dude, dude! Ow! Holy shit, dude. Oh my god, this is the like most hypest shit I've seen in quite some time. Dude, and we're not even are we even we're not even halfway done! Where's the rest of the team? <laughs> Who's this girl too? Like, oh my god. <gasps> Ooh! Dude! <laughs> That's fucking hype, dude. Oh my god. Actually, the villain actually won this time. Oh, wait! You got you got a freaking floating head to worry about. And I still don't know what the hell that is, if that's her semblance or her persona. Whoa! Oh my god! She's a witch! <laughs> oh my god. Oh my god, this is it, the final strike. <laughs> Mark, you are such a- Oh, the moonshot! What? Yo, dude, this is so fucking cool. They need to pick you up for Ruby, I swear to God. Oh my God, Silver the Squad! He looks so much better! Oh. Wait, what the hell? Did he save her or did he like... Charcoal Squad, where you at? <laughs> Really? He just saved her. Just drops her. Hello? Oh, wow. Okay, she's knocked out. It's about time. <gasps> Dude, voice acting, I swear to God. with three patrols of these guys. Oh my God. Yo, you guys are get wrecked. Get out of here, dude. Yo, he's back. Dude, what? That's new. Dude, is this an everybody trailer? Is everyone gonna get to freaking shine? Yo, Silver 2.0. Oh my God. I just watched this. I heard Paper Moon again and everything. Wow, this is so much more improved. <laughs> oh my God. Yo, who's over here? Is this uh, Viridian? Cause she has like, oh no, linen. I'm gonna smash your stupid. <laughs> <laughs> nice. Where's Viridian? The the girl that they fought kind of looked like her, but I don't know if it was like her got taken over or if it's just the same model. Oh, you're fucked, dude. You're going up against Wolverine over here. <laughs> and his semblance is so hype. Look at that shit. Oh my god, dude, I'm like sweating right now from all the hype. Oh, oh, wait, spoke too soon. There she is. Sorry, I was pretty far away. All of them have voices. Boom, 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 boom. There you go. The glyph semblance. Oh, and she's gonna pull you towards her. Mark, you are a Fucking badass, dude! Oh my god, so awesome. This is the coolest shit. This is like the coolest fan project I've ever seen, dude. Ever. Like, hands down. So worth the two, three year wait. Voice acting, improved animation, impro improved, like, flow. And now, here's the real fight. I think that's the airship that Charcoal took. Dude. 
Oh my god. Oh my god. It's over! Oh man. I literally feel like I just sat through like a Ruby episode. Oh my god. Holy shit, dude. Oh my goodness. Rooster Teeth. You motherfuckers need to pick this man up. Somehow, some way. It's very clear. Very clear. The inspiration, it's Ruby based, it's Monty inspired. It's it's such a breath of fresh air. Eight minutes of just non-stop hype. Non-stop action. Improved in every way from the previous trailers. Five years in the making, dude. Voice acting, first and foremost. Okay, so hold on. Let me look at this. Let me see the description real quick. Okay, so first off, shout out to everybody who, who gave their voice, who lended themselves to making this so much more immersive. I was not expecting voice acting. So what's her name? Uh, Rigora Sinarum? Uh, Sinarum? I think that's how you say that. Uh, Morgan Berry, Shane uh, Stovall, Calum Janes, Brandon Yates, and Jasmine Morin. You guys are all badasses. That shit was a billion times cooler, especially since there was voice acting this time around. Uh, we got the music. Okay, so it's an it's an arc fire shot glaive. Her semblance summons a familiar that bites people. Interesting. Um... <clears throat> Lisette, which I believe was the girl she was fighting, semblance, is lowering the temperature of things she touches. She also uses ice dust. <clears throat> the armor guy that Linen fights in his trailer is stronger because it was controlled by one of the possessed Grim. Uh, Simon doesn't have a semblance. Yeah, I changed it. <laughs> okay. The building's walls are actually put together out of the pieces of a Steve Vale model that he lent me from Nyon series. Okay. And I believe that's another Ruby uh, fan-made project. I haven't seen it myself, <clears throat> but I have heard of it uh, in, in recent years. Yeah, dude, this is the perfect comment. It's like discovering Ruby for the first time all over again. Thumbs up. I swear to God, this feels like I'm watching... Like the trailers, like the hype ass trailers of vol of pre volume one, red, white, black, and yellow, all together. Mark, you've leveled up, my friend, and oh my god, I, you know, like I don't mean to undersell anyone who works at Rooster Teeth. I love Ruby. I love the work that they've done. I've loved the the, the leaps and bounds that they've made especially with the passing of Monty, obviously, but at the same time, you would think that looking at something like this, you'd want someone like this on your side to only enrich what's already there. You know, choreography, animation, it's clearly Ruby inspired, it's clearly Monty inspired, and I, I don't know, apply for Rooster Teeth, please, if you haven't already. My God, this was so cool. This was so awesome. This fight alone, like, this one-on-one -on -one alone was worthy of the trailer itself. But then he goes above and beyond, and he's like, yo, let's bring Silver back. Let's bring Viridian back. Let's bring Linen back. Dude. <laughs> and that final shot, where it's just, like, her dark silhouette. Like, I'm done. I'm so done. All right, let's go back to that. That was so sick, dude. Like, the final strike, the final, the final encounter. This was so dope. I wasn't expecting the- I wasn't expecting this right here. The moonshot. <laughs> Dude, so, 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 so awesome. So awesome, man. It's- it's something that's been dearly missed, to say the least. Dearly missed is just crazy hype action for really no reason other than for the spectacle. And I know he's got like a plot forming. I'm pretty sure the next trailer that we'll see in the next two to three years will be Team will be team Silver going up against whoever comes out of that airship, which I think is 
charcoal from the original charcoal from the trailer that he leaves with his squad on the airship. So I think they all just showed up here and it's now they're about time. to duke it out. <laughs> Voice acting, man. Relax. I had to deal with three patrols of these guys. Wow. God, that Viridian return was so hyped too. That was so hype. Oh my god. I can literally watch this all day. My friends are about to come over. I'm showing every single one of them this shit. This was so oh. <laughs> the shatter effect was so cool. Oh my god. It's like a blast from the past too. I just sat down to watch this, but I still remember the initial hype I had watching all of these individual trailers for the first time. It was like it was like the spirit, you know what I mean? It's like the spirit of Ruby. The, the, you know, it's what what really captivated all of us, which was the the action, the animation, the choreography, the the, the just the over the top spectacle of of the fighting, and you know, not to say Ruby lacks that. Volume six was fantastic, you know, it, but I just think like more of this would be, uh, it just it'd be fantastic, it'd be great. And look at that, all of them officially revealed. I love the scarf that she has. And obviously, <laughs> Rabadon's death cap. Shout out to to League of Legends for people who who who, who get that reference. Mark, <clears throat> you're a fucking beast. There's nothing more I can say. It's very clear why this trailer is rivaled above the previous one you released. It's 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 a it's a step up in damn near every way, shape, and form. Animation, fluidity, choreography, voice acting. Um, it's the longest one you've put out. Fucking eight minutes. No wonder it took so long to put together. Oh my god. Please apply to Rooster Teeth if you haven't already. I don't know if you're familiar with the Maya engine or anything. I don't know what this engine or this software you're using. Oh my god. I mean, I, I wish you the best. I wish you happiness, of course, with whatever it is that you choose to do. If animation is your passion, if animation is something that you want to do in future, you clearly have a knack for it and you've upgraded, you've improved so much from where you first started. I went back and I watched the charcoal trailer and I like cringed a little bit cause I was like, oh my God, this is so bad because everything else he's done so far has been so good. But now this like blows the lid off of anything you've worked on. And I, I, I hate to feel like I'm fanboying right now, but that was spectacular. It, it's just like this comment right here says, this reminded me of the feeling I had watching the red white black and yellow trailer back in 2013 before we ever knew what ruby would become it's that's the best way to explain it the best way for sure and this was a spectacle i absolutely loved it and i i want to know what you guys think especially i'm going to be watching a couple of other people's reaction i saw portal 64 is posted early i know some other people in the fandom have have reacted to this and shared their thoughts and opinions. I've been staying away from it because I have not, I didn't want to be spoiled. Thank God I did. Thank God no one told me about the voice acting because that was like the coolest factor of it all. You know, Brandon Yates coming back to, to perform, uh, you know, and represent Lennon was great because, you know, he initially provided the efforts for, for Lennon uh, a few years back with that trailer. But my God, this was great. This was awesome. And yeah, we got her official logo. All of them have their logos out. Kudos, man. That's all I can really say. You deserve all of the praise, all of the recognition, all of the support that comes your way. And I I can only imagine what's next in store for you. I don't know. Again, like I said, I don't know if this is anything to go beyond what you what you're interested in doing, if you're if you're into animation as a profession or whatever. But it's very clear that you've dedicated the last couple of years to this. And I, I, I appreciate it immensely. This was so fantastic. Um, but with all that said, guys, because I'm rambling at this point, um, let me know what you do. This shit was so hype. I can't, I'm going to watch this shit with my friends later. Um, what did you guys think about this? This was spectacular, period. I have no other words for it. I absolutely loved it. I absolutely loved seeing the cameo return. This is by far his greatest work. And I think some of this shit even rivals some of the things that we've seen in Ruby as a whole, you know, and even more so it, it, it has the spirit and essence of what I think got a lot of us into Ruby for the in the in the first place. And it comes from a Ruby fan themselves. So who better to understand that than a fan? Um, but thank you guys so much for watching. I, I loved it. I loved it. I'm going to be watching this again later with friends. 
Uh, but thank you guys all so much for watching. Thank you guys so much for your continued support. Mark, stay grinding, dude. I you've you've come such a long way, and I can't wait to see what you do next. Um, but I absolutely loved it. But thank you guys so much for watching. Again, leave your thoughts in the comments, and I will see you guys all in the next video. Take care.